after an earthquake. During the ancient times, they were using huge, those kind of, like wooden, uh, animal figures, like machines, rollers underneath. The soldiers were standing on the top of the figures and think about the castles, big towers, so they must be in the same level, right? Mm -hmm. From the windows, they were thrown, as long as they stay on the bottom, they are pouring uh, hot olive oil and they can kill them easily. If you're in the same level, so what they do with the rollers, huge machine like that, they can hit the door and they can pour, they can uh, easily jump to the towers. And if they are successful there, then they can open one of the door. Then the soldiers waiting outside can help them. Maybe during the, according to the Stanford University, they say that one of the towers collapsed because of an uh, earthquake. Then by using those, they went in and they destroyed, they controlled the city. This is their theory. Another one, which I would like to mention, ladies and gentlemen, when I was a uh, school kid, in the age of eight, that was a game that we were playing. You make a loop, everybody sits next to each other, and then the teacher whisper a sentence to your ear. You say, you say the same sentence to the next person, then after 30 <laughs> students, the yeah. sentence is totally different. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the game? Yeah. yeah. Tell it all. Whisper down the lane. So, <clears throat> what I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, the Phoenician alphabet they started using in Troy, 8th century BC. The war was 400 years before, so there was no written language. So it was passing from generation to generation. How come, how can a same story stay same for 400 years? Is there any possibility? A lot of things might maybe changed. Then Homer wrote the story according to what he heard. This is another theory. Logic? So, ladies and gentlemen, just because of that wooden horse, another uh, well-known uh, phrase invented, which is, never take a gift from a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, so right now I'm waiting for that group to move forward. We are going to talk about Shuliman and also the layers. All, first of all, while they are there, let's talk about Schilliman, ladies and gentlemen. Schilliman, German. I'm going to say he was German only, because he was not an archaeologist. And his aim was to, fi to find the uh, treasury box of Priam. All his life, with his partner, he tried to find the place. And then he found the jewelry box. He thought that it belongs to Priam, and piece by piece, he took it. And then uh, it was reported to the Ottoman authorities, and then the Ottomans, ladies and gentlemen, they gave a punishment to him. Nowadays, $20,000, culins. He paid 10 times more than the punishment to be able to get permission to dig more. <laughs> And he made big mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. He built trenches. And while they were building trenches, they destroyed some layers, some basements of the towers. As long as we tour, you're going to see it will be more logic. All the layers are top of each other. As long as you take a part from the bottom, you are ruining the first couple layers. <clears throat> Recently, uh, the treasury during the war, by the way, stolen from Germans, it went all the way to Russia. And recently, eight years ago, with a carbon 14 test, they dated. It dates back to 2nd century AD. It's not. It's not. It doesn't belong to uh, Priam, by the way. 
because the time difference is 1,000 years. Mm. Am I clear so far? <laughs> You're not romantic. You're in the you want to destroy By the Russians. history of <laughs> Paris and Helen. <laughs> as long as we go to the site, it is not a big site like Pergamum or Ephesus or Aphrodisias or Hierapolis that we are going to visit in our trip. So the length. So we're talking about a very small loop. So all the artifacts are located at the same spot, on top of each other. Mm. Take a look at the first city, which dates back to 2920 BC. So we're talking about almost 4,000 years ago. That city had very low towers. It can be easily reached because the approximate height of the uh, towers were around 7 feet. And this was the spot where the, uh, where the people are living, royal family members. Take a look at the second city. The second city was getting larger, just three times bigger than the first one. From the second city, ladies and gentlemen, we found the first Megaron-shaped homes, rectangular homes, two-story buildings. The first floor was a spot where they uh, overnight and that was the spot where they bury their people they take a look at the age of the person if the person when he dies if he's older than five so they cut the skeleton from the junctions if younger than five which means baby so they don't even touch the skeleton and <clears throat> what they do I want you to pay attention to those huge jars. Mm -hmm. Can you see yeah. them? Mm -hmm. Those kind of jars. Mm -hmm. They were burying their, uh, their skeletons inside the jars and they sealed them. They keep them in their first floor. Second floor was the place where they do their cookings, everything. The oldest Megaron type in the Middle East, in this part of the world, here. Those are a bit younger than Chataluk because every day we are finding more and more uh, ruins. Recently, six months ago, they found another site very close to the Syria border, Gubeki Tepe. And they found another burial. 12,000 years ago. How many? 12,000 years ago. Exactly. 10,000 BC. They found the temple. So I cannot say that this is the oldest, so every day I have to update myself as well. So make our own type. Third, fourth, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, besides the city walls, nothing left. Why? Because of the big fire, because of the big earthquakes. And they say that the whole Anatolia, the nowadays formation, shaped during that time because of the earthquakes. No ruins found. Five. From that city, what we have, ladies and gentlemen, uh, potteries, painted potteries. Most of those with animal figures, deer, zen, which is interesting, leopard figures. All those potteries right now is located in uh, Ankara Anatolian Civilization Museum. They use natural colors to give color like red. They use the red clay for black obsidian stone, for blue purple snail shell, different. And they found a lot of potteries at the site. Sixth, especially sixth or seventh, which one we're not 100% sure, is light color because they believe that the Trojan War took place in that city. But still, the theory of some of the archaeologists, they say seventh, city seventh. Ladies and gentlemen, it goes all the way to the Roman Empire, but in between, I have to talk about the Persians. For almost 250 years, they conquered the whole Asia Minor, and they came here. And from that time period, the thing that they found in Troy, which is very important for the history, they came to Dardanelle, their aim was to cross Dardanelle, but how can they with the animals? Does anybody have any idea? 
They put the boat together. The and they put all the boats next to uh, next to each other, and they transfer all the animals from one boat to another, the second to the third. This is the theory. How they invent to uh, the bridge system? Time. Tamtun bridge. Fantun. Fantun bridge system. That's the mentality. <coughs> Alexander the Great, ladies and gentlemen, when he was here, his aim was to control Alexander Tross. He stayed in the city for two months. This is what we know from the written marble records. And then he moved all the way from here to Nicaea. Roman time period. It started, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk tomorrow because of Attalos. It has an interesting story I'm going to tell tomorrow, but uh, the whole empire was given as a gift to Romans. Then the Roman settlement started. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Romans came here, they built the city walls, they built the towers, they built the uh, aqueduct system, everything. When we come out, when we make the loop, you're going to see uh, the city hall, Orion, council chamber, all those dates back to Roman Empire. After the Roman Empire, in the city, there's nothing left. Because they didn't prefer to live here. Do you know the reason why? No, the city was not a harbor city anymore. The city was getting further. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the map. I would like to talk about another theory right now. First, <coughs> you are here. You can control Aegean if you are here. 3,000 years ago, Greeks, especially starting from 800s BC, they started moving to from mainland Athens to warmer lands because they were looking for fertile land. And they left the mainland. Pirates, they were trying to control Dardanelles. They were trying to control the traffic of the Black Sea. If you control Dardanelles, you can control the Sea of Marmara and also the uh, Bosphorus. So, you are in a city which controls everything. That's why Troy was an important city for everybody. That's why the theory that I would like to share right now there must be a war in between Trojans and the Greeks. Which year? <coughs> no idea. Because of trying to control the, let's say, like a jewelry road. If you control here, you will be rich. This is the aim. So, the geographically city was located such an important location. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start talking about the plan of Copiana. And also like 82% of the Greeks refused the plan. 92%. If you see a wall like this, you can easily climb to the top of the tower. Am I correct? Yeah. Why? Because monkey. Why? You can put your feet just in between the holes. It is easy. But Do you want me to get happens, up and try? Yeah. What happens if you cover the whole wall with a smooth marble? No, no little holes in between. 100% same level. 100% smooth. <coughs> There's no possibility. And also, each corner has some towers. From the towers, soldiers were waiting for their enemies. <coughs> this is the city wall, by the way. And as long as they come close, they were pouring Oil. boiling out of water. Oh, baby. So that's why, where is the marble? This is the question. During the Roman Empire, to build the temples, to build the uh, government buildings, like city hall, council chamber, they got the marble. And take a look at different type of a rock. It is, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the, uh, the ground level on top of it. If you cover all this area, 7 meters with soil, you cannot see any part.